Hello and welcome back to Loose Threads. Uh, today we are going to be adding some side seam pockets to a pair of scrub pants that I have. I got these scrub pants at Walmart for less than six dollars um, and it did come with a, a little patch pocket on the back of the pants but that's not a pocket that I would really use. Um, so I really need to add some side seam pockets which is going to make um, the way I'm going to do that is actually rip out a seam and add the pocket and then sew it back up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the first thing I did was find a piece of clothing that had pockets the size and shape that I wanted to add. And this is just a dress that I have. I have it folded up and just trying to show you the pockets here. These are nice big pockets. They're very comfortable when I wear this dress. Um, they're kind of deep pockets. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna use that as my pattern. So I did just that. I got some tracing paper and placed it. Um, actually, I drew around it. So I placed the pocket on the tracing paper and traced around it all the way around it and for this fabric I had to really um, iron it so it would be nice and flat because it's kind of a flimsy fabric but anyway I made my pattern and then I had already chosen my fabric and so I placed it on the fabric and I'm going to show you placement Um, this is not the fabric I chose, but when you go to cut your side seam pocket uh, pattern out, fold your fabric in half, okay? Because the pocket has a front and a back, and then you would just place your pattern onto the fabric and cut all the way around, okay? And then you'll wind up with something that looks like this. So I have a front and a back. And that's, it's just that easy. Find a pocket you like, trace around it on tracing paper, find the fabric that you want to use, and add your uh, pattern. Whoops, there we go. And cut it out. Now I do want to tell you um, who made this fabric because you may like it. I bought it a few years ago off of fabric.com, but a lot of times if you're looking for a specific fabric, you can type in um, the name of the, the name of the pattern, which this one is Cottage Garden, and it was made by Alice Hickey for Free Spirit. And you can't really read this, but that's their logo, Free Spirit. And these are Westminster fibers. If you type that into Google, it ought to bring up something similar, if not the same fabric. A lot of times they'll make. Um, something you know like this is cottage garden so they'll make this pattern in different colors this just happens to be cool colors with the greens and the blues and I really like that there's some lavender purple in there um, but sometimes they'll make them um, the same pattern in maybe warm colors like um, beiges and um, orange or peach but that said I just wanted to let you know what this is uh, Cottage Garden by Alice Hickey for Free Spirit by Westminster Fibers. Okay. Okay, and so the next thing I did was I actually tried on my pants and literally I just put my hands where they would naturally go in a side seam pocket and I marked it with some pens and then I started marking with my dressmaker's um, marker. Here it is. It is a water-soluble um, dressmaking pencil, okay? So when I wash the fabric, it'll wash right out. Um, so then I started marking, and I realized that I better put my pocket on here to make sure, and it turns out, yes, I, I was actually marking for too small of a pocket because this is how this is going to go into the side seam. So at least I have the top place where my hand would naturally just go into the pocket. 
So I think what I'm going to do is line it up with that. And I did mark that one. And then my bottom mark is just going to be lower than what I was planning or what it looked like when I put my hand in the pocket. So um, I'll disregard these marks in the middle and come down here and make a mark here. Okay. And then I'm going to actually add just a little bit to that. So these are the second mark is actually where I'm going to cut the seam out to. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. A little bit further down than the actual pocket. So this is, I'm going to rip this seam out from the top mark here to the bottom mark here. And then I'll show you how um, I put the pocket in. And to rip this pocket out, I'm just going to use a pair of small sharp scissors. Uh, there are things called uh, rippers and they rip seams out. I can't find mine, so I'm just going to use these scissors and get the seam out here. Okay, um, so I've ripped out my first side seam. It did go pretty easily with the, just the scissors itself. So now I want to take my cutout, my pocket cutouts, and place them. These need to be placed right sides together. So this is actually the outside of the scrub pants. And I want to take my pocket and put it, the right side of it, to the right side of the scrub pants to sew it. Okay, so I'm going to pin it along here on this line and you can see that this is the right the right side of the fabric is facing the right side of the scrub pants. Um, one thing to be cautious of, just make sure your pockets, you actually get the pockets in the correct way. Uh, the larger rounded side is going to go towards the bottom because that's how your hand actually slips in. So be careful not to sew it upside down. That would be bad. Then you'd have to rip it out. So I'm just going to pin these right sides together on this side and on the other side uh, of this um, seam, ripped out seam. So I'm going to pin one here and pin one over here and sew them together. Okay, so I've sewn the pockets pieces onto the scrub pants, right sides together. Here's our cut seam. Here's the other side of the pocket. Now I'm going to turn everything inside out, my pants and the pocket. And I'm going to line the pocket pieces up together and pin them together. And then I'll just sew around the edge here, all the way around the edge, okay, so that um, raw edges will actually be inside the inside the wrong side of the pants, if you see what I mean. So this is what it's going to look like. You won't have any raw edges showing. And then I've, I've snipped a little bit too much here. I will go up that seam and finish that. Okay, so turn it inside out pin the pocket pieces together and sew it. I do want to say um, when you are placing your pockets and pinning them uh, before you sew them into the seams, make sure they line up because um, if you don't get them lined up you're going to be dissatisfied with the way it looks. It's going to look kind of wonky. So these are actually lined up pretty well. All right, and I have sewn all the way around the edges. I started where I ripped out the seam a little bit bigger than the pocket and then I went all the way around the edges of the pocket and came back down and I had ripped out a little bit more than I needed here on the scrub pants and I just went ahead and sewed that and you probably can't tell I don't know if you can or not the second thing I did is I went back with a zigzag stitch. The initial seam I made 
was just with a straight stitch and then I came back with a zigzag stitch kept it um, to the right of my straight stitch seam so I tried to keep my zigzag out to the right to the side and I just went back around as I've said before these are it's a pair of scrub pants. I'm going to be wearing them quite a bit. They're going to be laundered quite a bit. And um, they will fray a little bit, but I believe that this um, zigzag is going to help them not fray so much. So this is what it looks like. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I want to turn the pocket inside out. Um, turn the pants right side out. And so there you have it. And you really don't see the pocket. Like, probably nobody would notice that I had a pocket. Um, but now I have a kind of a big functional pocket in the side of these scrub pants. I can put my keys in here. I can probably stick my cell phone in there. Um, it's just a, a good functional pocket. Plus, when I open it, when I put my hand in there, I will see this beautiful fabric that I really love and it's going to make me happy. Uh, if I did want this to show, you, I could have done a done a little trick where you kind of bring the the edge out of the pocket and sew it on the outside, like so. I'm not going to do that, but that'll be another tutorial. And that's how you add a side seam pocket. It's pretty easy, um, and it really makes your clothes that much more functional and pretty. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.